Alrighty, so welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. Today we are going to do sprinting. So when you hold the left shift, you will sprint. So let's go ahead and set the actions up. Go to Project Settings. Then you want to go to Input, which is down here in the Engine Location. And if you have the axis mappings open, you can close that. Now what we need to do is go over here to Action Mappings, click the plus, and we're going to name this Running. And we're going to do Left Shift. Now these right here, you can have like the shift. If you type in, let's say, 1, you can have one for an action and if you click shift then it'll be shift one uh, so that's what those are there and you can do control and alt you can have uh, all these set up with uh, one binding so that's all we are going to do in the action mappings is set up a running on left shift go ahead and close this out okay so i created the branch for this it's called part nine running there will be a link in the description below. So what we are going to do is we need to open up the Explorer tab and we need to go to Wukong header file. Close that out. And we've got default lookup rate. What we need to do is we need to create two floats. We need to do a float walk speed and we need to do a float run speed. And these are going to be blueprint visible anywhere, blueprint read write category. So we're just going to do U property visible anywhere blueprint read and write we're going to do category movement and we need to meta allow private access we'll just copy this Come down here and paste that. And this is just going to be set walk speed. Set run speed. Okay, so we have the two float variables walk speed run speed so like walk speed will be 300 run speed will be 600 and then we have to come up here to protected section because we need some functions for this and what we are going to do is we are going to just call them running and stop running so running and stop running and they're not going to return anything, so they can be a void. And we're just going to call this running. And we're going to call this stop running. Now, this is for the action bindings. So we just come in here, generate definition, go back into the header, stop running, generate a definition. So we have running, we have stop running. So what we need to do is check to make sure if character movement get current acceleration size is greater than zero. Yeah. So greater than zero, we're going to do get character movement, and we are going to set the max walk speed. 
max walk speed equals running. No. Equals run speed. Now, let's. And the reason we're checking to make sure that the acceleration is zero is because later on we are going to implement a stamina system. So if you are holding the left shift and you're not moving, it's going to reduce your stamina. And that's not what you want. So we have to make sure that we're actually moving when we're holding the left shift for running. Now for stop running, get character movement and the max walk speed will be a walk speed. So we have to initialize these variables. So let's come up here and the constructor and we are just going to do a walk speed 300.f and we're going to do run speed let's say 600.f so now we've created the variables we've created the functions running and stop running so now what we need to do is we need to actually bind them so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to do running these are pretty similar so I'm just going to copy and paste this and then you want to do running ie pressed and you want to make sure you take out the a, char a character we don't need the a character that was just for the jumping because Unreal Engine gives us that functionality. So we just need to do Wukong running. And then we're going to copy this. And then we're going to paste that running, i.e. released. Make sure you do released. Released, i.e. released. And we just need to do stop running. So, to recap, let's go back into the header. First thing we did was we created two variables, walk speed and run speed. We want to make sure they're visible anywhere and we can read and write to them in the blueprint. Then we created two functions, running and stop running. So if we go into here, to running, we check if character movement, get the current acceleration. If it's greater than zero, then we're going to start running. And then later on, we're going to implement a stamina system so where it reduces stamina like every half a second or something like that. Maybe reduce two stamina. And then that'll be a timer. So we created stop running. So we create running and stop running. We also initialize the variables up top in the constructor. Walk speed, run speed, 300, 600. So when you open up the editor, those will already be set. Then we came down here and to the player input. We created another section called running, player input, i.e. pressed and released for Wukong character running and stop running. We call the two methods that we created. So now, we just go ahead and do a hot reload. Okay, so we are in the editor. Now, when you click play and you move forward, it's running. When you hit shift, it walks. And the reason for that is because we need to set the max walk speed. So you want to go into character blueprint. You want to go into movement. And you just come in here and type speed. 
and you get max walk speed. That's why when you're first starting out, you're running. You want to set this to 300. Click compile and save. So now we got walking and then start starts to run and then we got strafing walking strafing running backwards and running so that's all working now if you did not set up eight-way blend spaces let's jump into character wukong eight-way blend spaces the reason it's working is because if you look there, we have a walk speed of 300. So that's what it's going to look like. Then we come up here to 600. But if you did not set up eight-way blend spaces, then what it's going to do is, because you don't have anything here, it's going to, it's going to look like that. So if you have eight-way blend spaces set up, this will work for you. That's all I have. Bye for now.